just went to Home Depot. We got 60 feet of conduit, a bunch of wire, some 220 outlets so we can get a, a plug for the welder and for the lift installed today. Um, and then once we get all the electrical ran, we'll show you guys in a second, uh, then we're going to move on to building the bench. And those are the two things we want to get done today because the lift is going to be here sometime this, this week. Mid next we week, wanna, hopefully. Hopefully beginning. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we get it Tuesday, Wednesday. It'll be great. So we kind of want to be ready to uh, organize around everything else. So we will bring you guys an update and show you guys what the shop looks like after we do some updates. We're getting moving. So we're back. Got a bunch of shit. Conduit. A bunch of miscellaneous we made stuff ball. for wiring. All the other items and some oh, wood shit. And all the wood for the bench. So we're gonna get to it and check back in with you later. My turn. Big time working the guns. All four of them. We have the workbench halfway done. We have not flipped it over yet. We're probably gonna have to shim the legs because that's just how it works. But this is the size we chose. It's uh, 10 feet long, two feet wide, and about 42 inches tall, 43 with the top on it. So it's gonna be a nice workable height. So we're gonna flip it over right now, and uh, we gotta reinforce it. We're still gonna put bracing in here, bracing across there. We're gonna do one across the back to brace all the legs together, and then it'll be really super solid, but. Just it on its side, and then flip it over. This is the first time we're uh... Is she heavy? Nice! It's like a bar height. Yeah, I like this. I like it tall. Is she tipsy? Definitely get started without any braces. Cool. Getting some more stuff done. We gotta make a phone call, get some wooden shims so we can shim the leg once it's on the wall. But first thing that we've built for the shop is 60% completed. Oh, there was, yeah, there's a huge box here for electrical stuff. We're not using it. So we're getting rid of that and we're running the 220 all the way over there and up to there so we can put the lift from over there. And the lift's gonna go kinda where Dan's standing right now. But more on that later. All right, we'll show you guys what the bench looks like when it's complete. And in the next 37 seconds, we're gonna have it all wrapped up. Well, I think we're uh, at a decent stopping point. All of our power tools have died. So, we're about to do uh, our last task, which we're gonna convert this shelving unit that we have here into a three, Rack, tire rack, one, two, that one would go up top. Keep it slit so you can drop them in. But, tone, got the desk done. It's about workbench, 42 inches tall. And we finished 240 for now, 220 for the lift. It's tied up there. Ran it all the way down along. Got one here, another one towards the back. Just for welders. Welder up there will probably be used more than likely and then we'll move it over here when necessary. Got the panel all back together and that'll do it for tonight. All right, shop build, day three, I think. We spent three whole days here. And break. All right. So me and Big Tom putting in some extra hours today. It's Monday, we worked all day, now we're here. We had to get some stuff finished up, so you guys might have seen in the same video. We're probably gonna do like a montage, three days. This is day three. Um, but we got some more accomplished. So Dan already showed you guys. We ran electric for 220 outlets. Uh, we have the wrong outlet in that one for the welder, so we have to get a different one there. Then we ran the wires up for the lift. It's gonna be up here some more. So we got this bench built. Not this one, we'll get there. We got this bench built. Now this is like a bar height. It's pretty tall, which is nice. We can stand up straight, work on it, all that jazz. But we have a lot of unused space underneath. 
So since we do a lot of transmission rebuilds, or I, I do, I made just a transmission bench. I'm gonna put like half inch furring strip on the edge to hold small parts. Then I'm gonna put a hole for input shafts here. But most importantly, It rolls, and it rolls pretty damn good, I must say. I'm no carpenter, but my halfway built rolling bench was a lot cheaper than a snap-on rolling bench, and I fucking made it, so it's better, just for that reason. So we got a rolling bench thing. We forgot some tools and a battery, so it's only halfway done. I think we're gonna put like some bracing in here, maybe a shelf in here, and then cut this off, and then it'll be like oh, everything. I like this little rolly bench more than this extravagant bench. How about you, Big Tom? I don't know. I like the strong and steady stationary, but mobile will be convenient. He's not a risk taker. I'm, I did get I'm dancing on that bitch. Anyway, so we are out of juice for the evening. Oh, we did one more thing. So these big, huge shelving units that are, were conveniently here when we got here. Got five shelves, they're pretty nice. But we had a bunch of them. So this one, we took out the middle shelf and the middle shelf down there. And we've turned it into a tire rack. It's untested, but the idea is that's gonna be our tire rack. Put them up here, they can sit in here. If we need to, we will add, you know, one inch section or whatever it takes to kind of hold the tire in here, whatever we gotta do. But we're gonna hang something on the wall. However, we think the walls are aluminum studs on both sides because this used to be a bigger unit and it's got divided into a small unit that we took advantage of. So I don't think we're gonna be hanging much from the wall like we were hoping to. You know, brooms, ladders, small stuff like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying watching this progress, subscribe down below. We are getting the lift in in the next couple days. By the time this video's out, hopefully you already have it up. That video's coming soon. It's gonna be amusing, I guarantee it. Uh, but anyway, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. On